Are you alright? I'm alright. My kid's just there. Oh my god, he almost killed himself. I do it about 14 times a day. Jeez, <laughs> take care of yourself, See man. You. Thank you. But I own a one wheel pint. There's a couple of video that I made about that. But today I received something that I was waiting for a while now. an extra battery because the pint have only a 68 mile range and well that's not a lot that's the only really downside of the pint is the range that it has I bought myself a new fender and the fender it's a guy that makes them the fender has the battery inside underneath this plate there. So I'm going to be adding this battery to my pint. And then with that battery, I will have a range of 20 plus miles. So that's more like it. So today I'm going to add this battery to my pint. So it's going to be a big change. And I'm really happy about that because six miles is not a lot when you're having fun. So we're going to do that today. But before doing a change on the battery, you need to make sure that the voltage is the same. So as you can see, if I open the, um, the battery, it says 54.2. And I have on my app for the, um, for the pint, I have 54.2 right there so they match when I'll charge them they'll charge at the same time and uh, that way well they're gonna be balanced at the same time so here we go <laughs> supposed to so that's what the inside looks like this is the new battery that I have this was the um, stock battery that was plugged into well, here the wind wheel and I needed to put the fender on and then pass the wi the wires underneath that plate here and then what I'll do is I'll need to pass these wires through a hole that I need to put to do right here in the protection plate. It will be going through a hole right here. And then I'll put some silicone to block the hole. And then it will be protected underneath here. So I'll need to go get a... I don't know how to call that. 
thingy that I can put onto my drill and do the whole I've put some electric tape around the connection here. The wires are are running through the hole that we made. It's also going under this plate here, right here. All right, and then I'm going to connect the battery now and see hopefully it will work <laughs> plates back to the one wheel because we are done and um, after that I'm gonna put some silicone silicone yep. to badger the board so no no water is gonna come in and I'm gonna put some in here too right here and so let's do this. Oh yeah, and before I forget, if when you play with one wheel screws, you need to be very careful and get your torque down if you're doing with a drill because you can break the screws and you don't want to do that because they are special screws that um, they use to they used to put on the wheel, so be careful with that. Like those one here, they have like this little pin inside, so you want to, you know, be careful. So here it goes. <laughs> Okay, so got the screws in. Now I'm gonna put some silicone in the hole here because you certainly don't want any dirt or water going in there for sure. Yeah, and then I'll be able to put back the, the plate and we'll be done.
Thank you.